I would understand that her lawyer is trained in law and not trained in mental health. For him to have been able to say that um, he suffered some mental disability, I'm not aware of that. But be that as it may, if it is that she had made the threat or not, it is a matter for us to investigate and make sure that we do not take nothing for granted. Um, as I've said before in other interviews to other media houses, we're not going to take nothing for granted and uh, we will do what needs to be done to ensure that the threat is neutralized. And that includes ensuring that the alleged maker of the threat is brought into police custody and properly interviewed. Those who we believe have been hired to carry out the hit, they too have been brought into custody and interviewed. And so everything that needs to be done will be done to ensure that we get to the bottom of this. And I, I don't expect my good friend um, to say otherwise. He is the liar for her. And he certainly will have to hold the best interest of his client at heart. He's been paid for that. So I don't expect him to say otherwise. But certainly it would appear that there was some talking, at the very least. Okay. And um, you know things normally start from a talk. Or you, you, you cultivate things in your mind and then from there it comes to fruition. And uh, the fact that there was some talking means that there is some credibility to it. And that's the reason why I have said that it is important for us to get to the bottom of it and do not take it for granted.